Welcome back to News 3 Today. Brightside Child and Family Advocacy is gearing up for its signature fundraising event. Local celebs and professional dancers are getting ready to cut a rug for the 16th annual Dancing with Savannah Stars. Maria Moss is one of the 11, is it 11 dancers? It's 11 dancers. Five for <laughs> Bracking Rice and she joins us now with more. Thank you so much for being here Thank today. Thank you for having me. And I see you have on your Casa shirt I today. Do. It's our Panhandle Slim Casa shirt with our Nelson Mandela quote. So I love it. My favorite shirt. <laughs> okay, so first of all, let's talk about Brightside and how you got involved with this event mm -hmm. and why. Yeah, absolutely. So Brightside Child and Family Advocacy is like the parent umbrella of a couple of different organizations, including Savannah Casa. Mm -hmm. And so I have been a Casa volunteer since 2020. Wow. Um, just have always thought that it would be nice to help. Used to do juvenile probation, always try to stay involved. And so in 2020, when the world slowed down, I had a chance to go through training um, to be a Casa finally. And so I've been a Casa since 2020, have saw the event and looked at it and said, maybe I should do that. And then this year was the year that it was like, let me just go ahead, rip the Band-Aid, sign up and be one of the 11 dancers to raise money for CASAS. Okay, let's talk about CASAS and what they are and what you do because it's a lot of work, but it's so rewarding. It definitely is. So what we do is we actually advocate on behalf of children involved in the foster care system. So we are appointed by judges. We are assigned to cases. We work with our families, our children, and any people that they're around to just really find out their wishes, the best interests of that child, present a report to the judge. We attend court hearings. And a lot of times we are the most consistent thing in these children's lives as caseworkers may change, attorneys may change, mm -hmm. but CASAs, um, hopefully stay pretty consistent. So we're there to advocate and be a voice for the children in the court. And one way that the community can get involved in this entire thing is by supporting our dancers and supporting this big fundraising event. You are tasked yes. as a dancer <laughs> to raise $15,000. $15, yes. Yes, it's exciting, it's fun, it, it makes you get creative, it makes you pull out all the stops, pull in all your people, um, and just really find find people an opportunity to be able to contribute. A lot of people want to help, they want to do things they don't know what to do, and donating is the easiest. So helping mm -hmm. us hit these funds, but also getting to see some really fun, hopefully good dancing, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully at the end. Now one fun <laughs> event that kicked off in January, the end of January, as a matter of fact, was the big kickoff party where all of the dancers were revealed this year. And we, we have video of that event, a chance to mix and mingle with the community. Yes, get a chance to get your name out there, face out there, connect, see the other dancers, you know, and just have really some fun and energy just to kick off the event. And then we'll have our mid-year one uh, coming up at the beginning of April. So our mid like campaign um, event will be happening in the middle of April. But again, another chance to get us out, get us in front of the community, connect, show people who we are, you know, and get a chance to share a little bit more about the program. And one of the reasons you are here, or actually the reason that you are here today is to talk about your events that are coming yes. up because you have three. Yes, I okay. have three events coming up that go specifically to my fundraising mm -hmm. ca fundraising campaign. So um, the first is an improv show, Front Porch Improv. We're gonna have a show, a murder mystery on March 14th, 6 p.m., it's just $15. That all goes to my fundraising campaign. You can come out, have fun, be a part of a murder mystery show and enjoy. Okay. Uh, the next is we are gonna have a fundraiser involving food. So people like Ooh, to eat and like, like restaurants. It. The second one will be our Panera fundraiser. It's mm -hmm. gonna be March 21st. And we're actually reaching out into Pooler a little bit. So we're gonna pull in some of the Pooler businesses and community to help out. So March 21st, 4 to 8 p.m. If you come, you show this flyer that's uh, showing and say, hey, you wanna donate your food purchase, we'll get a portion of that towards my fundraising campaign. And the last is Chipotle. Mm -hmm. um, so in April, April 9th, we're also gonna get you feeding again um, and donating. So at the same time, again, you're gonna eat if you like Chipotle, go on April 9th between 4 and 8, and all of that money will be donated to our campaign. All right. Thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. today. And if you can't remember all of that that she just said, it'll be on our website at WSAV.com. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you, Kim. Thank you for having me. Thank You're you, welcome. Stay with us. We'll be